Start by choosing the background for the preview. In this case, we'll use a white background, since we'll be adding all the tote options with dynamic images. As you can see, all layers from the print file are now visible on the preview. The only thing missing is the actual tote where we'll place the monogram. Let's add it by creating a dynamic image. Choose Upload Images to select all the tote pictures you want to use. It's important that all the images you use are taken from the same angle and equally centered to ensure a seamless change between tote options. Resize the layer so it fits the entire preview. And move it to the back by rearranging the order on the Layers panel. If we change options, we can see how all the different tote colors are available. Lock the layer to keep it in place. Then, select all the initials and adjust them to fit the tote properly. Now let's give the monogram some color options. Starting with the first initial, we'll assign to it a color library to give it color options. This is a library we had already created. To learn how to create a new color library, follow the link shown above. If we browse through the options, we can see all the colors from the library available. To make the preview more realistic, we'll give the monogram a texture. There are different textures available, from embroidery to wood. Try them until you find the one that represents your product best. Repeat the process for the other initials. Now that the preview is looking good, we can see how it compares to the print file. On the right, you can see the preview customers will see on your store. While on the left, you can see the monogram file you'll receive on the orders. Click on the layers to test how they will work. When you're ready, save the template and head on to the next video to learn how to create other monogram options.